Hey, Robert here. Exciting news coming out of DeepMind, the Google-owned company that a couple of years back developed AlphaGo, the first computer-based system to beat a Go world champion. This time, the DeepMind team has developed AlphaFold, which is an AI-based system that has cracked protein folding. Proteins are tiny molecular machines, and inside every cell of your body there are billions of proteins hard at work. They allow your eyes to detect light, your neurons to fire, and much, much more. But proteins are not only found in humans, they are present in all living things. So it's fair to say that proteins are fundamental to all of life. If we could understand how proteins actually look, their 3D shapes, we could develop better drugs and do it faster and cheaper. It could even unlock new possibilities, such as breaking down plastic waste or efficiently capturing carbon from the atmosphere. But in the past 50 years, science has made slow progress at understanding proteins. We figure out the structure of only 0.1% of the known proteins. But why has progress been so slow? Well, because proteins are really complex. In principle, they are a simple chain of these building blocks called amino acids. The problem is that these amino acids interact with each other. Some amino acids attract, others push themselves apart. A protein has hundreds of amino acids, all pushing and pulling, making the protein fold in hard-to-predict ways. Each protein is a self-organizing origami with 10 to the power 300 possible conformations. But only a few are stable shapes. Finding these stable shapes is called the protein folding problem, and it has baffled scientists all around the world for decades. The existing experimental techniques that scientists have used so far are slow and expensive. It takes years to figure out the stable shape of a protein. DeepMind took a different approach. They loaded the 170,000 known protein structures and developed an AI model that can simulate how these amino acids interact with each other. This way, DeepMind can predict the shape of the final protein without actually doing any physical experiments. This is much faster and cheaper. But is it better? How do we know that the prediction is actually accurate? Well, in 1994, a group of scientists started CASP, which is basically the Olympics of protein folding. Every two years, they publish several proteins and they ask participants all around the world to submit their predictions. The real structure of these proteins is afterwards published and compared with the predictions that have been submitted. Each prediction is assigned a score between 0 and 100. Anything above a score of 90 is considered on par with experimental results. But here's how bad things were before AlphaFold. The maximum score achieved four years ago was only 40%. Two years ago, AlphaFold took part for the first time in this competition and achieved a score of 60. But this time, they achieved a score of 92, which is an amazing improvement. Here is what John Mould, the co-founder of this Olympics of protein folding, had to say about the AlphaFold's achievement. We started to try and speed up the solution to the protein folding problem. When we started CAS in 1994, I certainly was naive about how hard this was going to be. Here what we saw in CAS 14 was a group delivering atomic accuracy off the bat, essentially solving what in our world is two problems. How do you look to find the right solution and then how do you recognize you've got the right solution when you're there? I'm going to read an email. Uh, I got this from John Malt. I'll just read it. It says, John, as I expect you know, your group has performed amazingly well in CAS 14, both relative to other groups and in absolute model accuracy. Congratulations on this work. It is really outstanding. You know, these results were, for me, having worked on this problem so long, after many, many stops and starts and will this ever get there, suddenly this is a solution. 
It's hard to quantify the impact that this world will have on the scientific community. But what is clear is that if DeepMind finds a way to make their work accessible to scientists and enthusiasts around the world, in the next few years we will know the folding structure of most proteins out there. This would be a tremendous achievement. But what I am most excited about is the example that we are setting to the new generation. We are showing them that science and technology are not just bits on a screen, but they can actually improve our everyday lives. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. In the description, I will put links to all the different resources that I've used for this video. Go and check them out. And until next time, stay curious.